Now folders, this is very important for your team. So like, let's say I wanted to share this credit card with the rest of my, uh, the rest of my crew. I can simply um, choose this credit card. In fact, I'm gonna add it to a folder over here. So I can edit this, drop this into my accounting folder, for instance. And now everybody who has access to this accounting team, which is in this folder, I can manage this, this team. So forgive the double name of myself, but this, in this case, on my other device, which I have right over here, this password just showed up and rather this, um, this credit card showed up in my vault and now I have access and I can even control the access for this because obviously you don't want everybody to have the exact same kind of access. So for instance, in this other account, I can decide I can either want, it, want them to be almost like a full admin of that folder, which would be a folder manager. I can give them access to update and uh, manage different items, or I can just simply give them read only access, which would be this folder member. So they can still use the autofill capabilities, but they don't necessarily have the capability of exporting items or copying and pasting it to a sticky note or um, um, an Excel sheet or anything else like that. They just only be able to use this in a web page. So this is all great. It's awesome to have this on your desktop, but obviously nobody wants to be copying and pasting these items. So we obviously would have a browser extension. Now, again, this browser extension is available. Um, I'm gonna be showing this to you in Firefox today, but there is a, it's also in Chrome. It's gonna be in Edge. You can always use the Chrome um, extension in Edge as well. And the Safari extension will be coming uh, when we come for general availability as well. So here, I'm gonna show you, this is, uh, shows up in the top right corner, just like any other extension. This is very much like a, a mini version of the desktop app. So the same kind of principle of a left pane for navigation, this central area to show you the items themselves, and this right side to show you the details. So we can allow it to filter based on just items. So I'm only viewing accounting items in this context or personal items here. And I also, as Antoine had alluded to before, we have a built-in password generator, which lets you bring it all the way up to 200 characters. You can use this, copy, paste, and directly use it from the browser extension. We also do give you very rich capabilities of being able to customize the behaviors of the extension because we know extensions don't always behave predictably on every single page. So if you ever have that weird login page or just a particular set of sites that you just don't, does not behave nicely because of how they have their login form set up, you can always control globally or even locally um, and be able to use your credentials and really not have to rely on, um, you know, if it's gonna work this time, you can tweak it as you need. But ultimately, what you're gonna end up doing is probably just using, the, uh, just going to the different sites. So for instance, I'm gonna go to my Squarespace site. So I can click here, as you see, it's uh, populated. I have built-in search. I can launch this and it will detect the username and password fields and auto submit the login form. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.